hello family. This is uh, brother Matthew, and he will be happy to share his testimony with the whole family. And so here we go, Matthew. Okay. Welcome to Soko Films. No problem. Tell us your testimony, brother. Yes, um, my my testimony starts from a, a very interesting place, and in that I used to be um, somebody that would intellectually and rationally think that religion was a nonsense. So I was a, a communist, I was a Marxist, and I used to have this theoretical kind of assumption that religion was basically just nothing more than an oppression for everybody. It was just a way of getting people to, you know, to be distracted from the truth of what was going on. And I was totally against. In fact, I remember that there were there, there was like these festivals of light in Trafalgar Square, and I would prepare myself to go there and shout the the festivals down because I thought it was just simply a load of nonsense. But there was one year back in about 2003. And I was walking through Soho and Leicester Square. So in the middle of anything sinful in this world, everything was going on there. And um, I remember that I was completely and totally against God in every sense. But there was a little moment when I suddenly had this bit of what I call now faith. And everything was starting to go off the rails. I was going in a very dark place, very dark place. And I remember I'm um, literally looking at God as if I'm looking at you now, eye to eye, eyeball to eyeball. I was indignant and I was rude and I said to God, I said, if you're there, you, God, who I don't believe in, I said, give me back my sanity. Then everything kind of disappears and I go about doing my life as I normally do and everything was getting progressively worse and worse and worse. And then about maybe eight, or month, eight months after this event, there I am on the back of a motorcycle, and I'm going into central London in the middle of the night. It was the hottest day of the year, and I had every intention to do everything that was, you know, bad. And I was going to central London to have a bad night, you know, completely bad night. Then suddenly, as I'm, move, as I'm riding into central London, my motorcycle inextricably locked up and it just wouldn't and it slid and i actually slid and crashed into a railing at the bottom of archway and you know in the end i should have been dead i should have been smashed to pieces but i was damaged enough in order to end up in hospital and i went to the whittington hospital now it's not a particularly religious place the whittington i mean there were people praying no doubts but it is not the most spiritual place on earth and as i'm inside the hospital two days later they take me down for an x-ray because i've actually bashed up my legs, my knee, everything. And there I am, I'm left on my own. And I'm the most alone I'd ever been. I was at the lowest point of my life. I felt wretched. I looked wretched. My parents had seen me the night before and they cried over me because not only was I physically smashed, but they could see that my soul was broken. They could see that everything had come apart. And as I'm, as I'm there, suddenly I'm outside this x-ray room. I'm still a communist. I'm still a Marxist, I'm still an atheist, and then suddenly, bang, this great plume of light came around me. And it wasn't some imaginary thing, there was light all around me, and I felt a presence so strong, and I knew that moment, an atheist of 15 years, Marxist communist, I knew it was God there and then. And then God then started talking to me. He said, come and do this, come and do that, come here, speak to this one, go and deal with those people over there. The end of the story, which is actually the beginning of my story with Jesus, which was the beginning of my story with Jesus, is some months later, I actually had this crisis. Because I knew God, I knew God had come into my life, but I didn't know who this God was. I didn't know who he was. And I was in a crisis. And as I stood there, I said to God, I said, now give me back my faith. Because I don't know who this God is, I know this God. The next day as I'm walking to work, Again, no kind of church business or people preaching or teaching at me. Here I was, I felt this presence alongside me and I knew there and then that it was Jesus. I knew that God had taken me and had drawn me to Jesus. And that's my testimony. That's my testimony. Matthew, so... Um, any message that you might like to give to those who perhaps um, share the same sentiment and ideology as you had before be becoming a Christian, what, kind of, what type of message would you like to give those guys who perhaps might be considering the Christian faith? You know something, the whole 
basis of Marxist thinking is about the reality of rational thought, right? So they're looking, they're looking for an evidence of something that says this is how society is supposed to work. The reality is, is I can tell you right now that I have the evidence of the fact that God exists. I've got the evidence of the fact that Jesus is there. It's irrefutable, you know? So what I would say to you, right, is that if you think you're open-minded about your debate and about your thinking, be open-minded when God comes. Because when he comes, actually, if he says to you, what can I do? Because I know you. In the end, you say, look, I'll come with you. As simple as that. Thank you. Thank you, brother Matthew. God bless you. Thank no you. Thank you. Take care. Bless Thank you. you. Good bless to you. What's your name again? Sorry. Uh, Soccer Films. JC. JC, nice to meet you again. I, I run Soccer Films. Okay. Bless you, brother. So thank you for your testimony, brother. Bless you, JC. You'll be hopefully edifying for, for the viewers. Right, no worries. God bless you. Take bless care. Bless you, JC. Cut.